my team was down by Beaumont Swamp. It's a little backwater in northern Pennsylvania. We'd spent three days hiking through the mountains looking for it. It's nothing special, just a, a lake with some marsh around it. But it was deep in the woods. And we knew if anything was going to happen, it would probably happen there. First night after we set up camp, things were pretty quiet. We'd been out in the woods for days, so we'd gotten used to the sound of deer and coyotes running around in the trees at night. It's like a lullaby singing us to sleep. Our lead biologist, Claire Jacobs, she heard it first. Footsteps, bipedal, no question. She woke the rest of us up with the radio, but we didn't do a damn thing. We all just sat in our tents and listened, listened in silence, silence. That's whatever it was circled the perimeter of our camp. After about half hour, whatever it was, took off. The next morning was the first time we saw it. Jesse was down by the lake, shaving. He had nicked himself. He called out to us and we all came running. There it was, standing on the other side of the lake, eight feet tall, covered in thick brown hair. Just stood there. Like it didn't even care we were watching it. By the time we got to the other side of the lake, it had disappeared. We waited there for hours. Eventually the rest of the team went back to camp for dinner, but, but I stayed. I couldn't leave knowing it had been there just a few hours earlier. After night fell, I sat there on the far shore of the lake, alone, looking out at the lights of the camp. Surrounded by the vastness of the forest, it, they seemed so small and unimportant. It must have sensed that I was alone because it had came for me very quickly without deceit or guile. I could feel its presence before it even attacked me. The only things I remember are the heaviness of its hand, the smell of its skin. When they found me the next morning, I was out, suffering from shock, frozen, my face bleeding from where it had attacked me. Claire called the rangers and they medevaced me out, took me to the nearest hospital. We told them it was a climbing accident. After they discharged me, the doctor who had worked on me came running out to the car, like that sheriff at the end of the movie Deliverance. He asked me what really happened. Even then, I couldn't tell him the truth. 